All right, you guys asked and now you're getting. Also, you're gonna need to pause the video a lot. Open up Roblox Studio and what the heck? Open up Studio and head over to Code's Otaku Cutscene Editor. If you don't have this, what the heck are you even doing? Name your cutscene and then make a super cool one like this one that I totally did not just make in like 0.3 seconds. Play the cutscene one time and look at the playback time. Make sure to remember this for later. Once you're ready, hit generate script and open up the music and delete the sound ID and set the volume to zero. Click play on character added and set it to false. Open the cutscene GUI, open the button properties and set visible to false. Now open the starter GUI and insert a screen GUI and in that insert a frame. You can make this frame whatever color you want your fade to be. Scale it to be the size of the screen. Drag it down and make it taller on the top, then drag it back up. Haha, <laughs> this is where it gets fun. Add a script into the frame. If you just want the script and don't really want to learn, it's in the comments. If you want to learn, follow along as I go. I'll be explaining what I'm doing. I'm going to detect that the part was touched, and then I'm going to actually locate the humanoid that touched the part. Then I'm going to continue with the debound script. Make sure to add the dev parts of the script because it's very important. Then I'm going to use the player GUI so that way this only goes out to the local player and not everybody in the server. Now I'm going to use the player GUI to locate the frame we made earlier. Now I'm going to start to actually make it fade away. Make sure that your weight is at 0.001 seconds if you want a smooth and clean fade. To make it easier on yourself, just copy lines 10 and 11 and paste them one by one, de-escalating down by 0.1 until you hit zero. Once you hit zero, add a weight for one second and then make deb equal false. Now let's actually test it to see if we're doing it right. It, oh, I am. I didn't actually think I was doing it right. <laughs> now add a weight for one second and do the exact same thing but going up from 0.1 to one. You can get rid of this extra weight on line 29. It doesn't matter. Remember how I told you to remember how long the playback time is? Add a weight on line 48 and make it however long your playback time is, minus one second. Mine was 15.3, so I'll put 14.3. Then copy lines nine through 47 and paste them under the weight. Now head over to the starter player scripts and open the cutscene script properties. Click play on part touched and click value. Then click the part that you want to be the trigger. Then open the cutscene script and find line 109 and add a weight for one second. Now you can go ahead and open it up and just give it a test. It works well, but I don't like how I was able to see my character for about a millisecond before it closed. But this is an easy fix. If this happens, just open up the fade script and head to line 48 and round it to the lowest tenth. And now it works. If you don't know how to round, please go back to preschool. Now the only logical thing to do is to put it in a game, right?